Hi folks, I just wanted to send a brief message about the uh, task forces that we're developing for our strategic plan focus areas uh, of uh, uh, student success, of equity seeking systems, and of uh, community engagement. And uh, at, a, at a SAC meeting the other day, at one of the buildings, some parents had some questions that I wanted to, to respond to and clarify some things. First is we really want um, the, the composition of those task forces to be representative of our entire community. And by representative of the entire community, I mean socioeconomically representative, culturally representative, representative of different um, ideologies and philosophies, uh, parents, students, community members. So we really want those groups to be, we really want those task forces to be representative. And I, I, don't, I wanna make that clear. We do not want the task forces to be a, 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 have a room full of like-minded people. Uh, we, we want um, uh, differing opinions. Uh, we want rich conversations, and we want our total commu our, our total community represented on those. A, a couple of other questions that came up. One would be the time commitment, and it would probably be I'm going to say three, four, five hours a month, uh, maybe two two and a half hour meetings. Um, depending on where the work is in progress and what the needs are of those groups. So it's, it's, uh, it's going to be probably four, three, four or five hours a month. Uh, also, there may be some homework, some research to do before we come, um, articles to read, those kind of things, background information. But we will also have um, what we're calling implementation teams, which are school, which are school people who will actually do the, uh, the, the actual work of those committees if it's about drafting documents and those kind of things. So um, the task force work will primarily be providing input, providing insight, percolating ideas, um, and, um, and, and really inclusive thought. Um, another question that came up was, I'm checking my notes here, another question that came up was uh, whether we wanted SAT or SAC, uh, um, school advisory committee members, PTA people on those committees, and we do. Um, all groups are welcome to apply. The one challenge we're going to have is we currently have 70 applications for the three uh, for the three areas, and we want to keep those task force to about 20 people. So we really have rich conversation. We really have an opportunity to interact and really have a t uh, an opportunity to think collectively. Uh, more than 20 makes that difficult. Last year, for example, the diverse the um, um, equity task force was maybe 50 or 60 people. And that's just too many people to, to really process ideas and really, really uh, have input from everyone. So we need to go through a process then to whittle those down. And, uh, and we'll do that very thoughtfully. And again, um, uh, with our goal being representative groups. So uh, um, thank you for listening. Um, have a great day.